The next feature that we're going to tackle inside of Instagram and try to model out inside of our database is a lot more around the post feature. So we've already got the idea of posts inside of our database. Let's go reflect on what we've added in so far. So on our post table, we've said that a post has a URL. So that is where a photo is hosted. And we've got the user ID as well. So that's the user who actually created the post. So as we go through some of these different screenshots around looking at a post and also creating a post, we're going to notice that there are many other properties that we need to store tied to a post as well. So let's take a look at these screenshots one by one. The so first on the very left hand side is a photo or a post as viewed by some random user. So when they are looking at this post, they see the user who created the post. Okay, that's fine. You and I can deal with that because we are recording the user ID or the ID of the user who created the post. We also see the photo itself. No problem there. We're storing the URL. Underneath the post, we see the number of likes. No problem. We've got that. Here's another post right here. I've just a little bit down further on the screen. So again, there's the likes. We've then got a lot of text right here. All this text is referred to as a caption or kind of a description of the post. We currently have nothing inside of our database to record this caption. So we definitely need to maybe add in a column or something like that to store the caption of a post. Underneath that, we can then see that there is a view all link right here for comments tied to the post. No problem. We've got the idea of comments inside of our database. And then underneath that is how many hours ago the post was created. No problem there as well. We're storing that created at flag, which we can use to calculate how long ago the post was created. So at present, it looks like our data model is actually kind of representing the idea of a post pretty well, with the exception of a caption. We definitely have to take care of the caption, and we'll deal with that in just a moment. First, I want to show you a little bit more on the process of creating a post. All right, so two screenshots as a part of the post creation process. To create a post, you tap some button inside the app that says, hey, I want to create a post, and you select a photo to add. In this case, I'm trying to post a photo of an American actor named Tom Cruise. So this is one of the first screens that you see right here. Technically, it's a third, but it's the first one where you really start to add in some meaningful information around the post. So we can see very plainly that we are trying to upload some photo, which is going to go and be stored on some remote storage device. And we'll store that URL tied to it inside of our table. We've already got that. Again, no problem there. And then right next to it is the caption that we want to tie to the post. So that would be equivalent to all the text right here. Now, what we are going to spend a good time focusing on are the two little selections immediately after it, tag people and add location. These are the next two big things we're going to start to focus on. The first, add location. What is that all about? Well, add location is about tying a physical real world location to the photo. If you tap on that button right there, then the Instagram app is going to try to figure out using your phone's geolocation equipment your physical longitude and latitude in the world. So if you add a location to a photo, that means that you are tying a longitude and a latitude to the post. That shouldn't be too bad. We could probably create two new columns called maybe latitude and longitude, tie it to the post, and store those two numbers. So we could probably figure that out. And how about the other feature here, tagging people? Tagging people requires just a little bit more explanation. If you click on that little option right there, or just tap on it, you see a screen like this one on the far right hand side. So when we tag a person, that means that we are going to physically tap somewhere on this phone or on the screen or on the photo itself right here. And we are trying to essentially mention or tag some other Instagram user to a specific location inside the photo. So in this case, I went to the tag people screen. I then tapped right about here. And that brought up this little pop-up thing. And inside of there, I did a mention to another Instagram user, specifically Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise right there, that is his username on Instagram. So when we tag a person, we are essentially linking a person to a photo. Not only are we linking a person to a photo, but we're also linking that person to a very specific spot in the photo as well. I tapped specifically right here on the photo. I didn't tap up here at the top right hand side or the bottom right or the top left. So wherever a tag gets added on the photo, we need to somehow store that information inside of our database as well. So that when we go to show this photo to someone else and say, hey, here's all the tags on it, 
we need to precisely locate each of those tags on the photo. Maybe there's a tag up here to some specific person, another tag up on the top left to another specific person, and so on. So not only do we need to somehow relate a photo, or kind of this picture right here, to some other Instagram user, but we also need to relate some very specific part of the photo to that other person. Okay, so overall, long discussion here. The outcome of all this is essentially three big items, and they go from easiest up to most challenging. The easiest thing that we need to improve right now, we need to make sure that a post can have a caption, easy. We need to make sure that a post can have a longitude and latitude, a little bit more hard, not really the worst thing, we just need to add two columns, but we might want to eventually run a query like, say, find all the photos in some geolocation in the world, like maybe in a specific city. So there might eventually be some considerations around storing and querying longitude and latitude values. And then finally, most challenging thing we need to take care of, we need to add in some idea of tagging people and relating them to a very specific post as well. So quick pause right here. We're going to start to tackle these three tasks in the next video.